ശ്രീശൈലേശ ദയാപാത്രം ദിവക്താതി ഗുണാർണവം യതീന്ദ്ര പ്രവണം വന്ദേ രമ്യജാ മാതരം മുനിം ലക്ഷ്മീനാഥ സമാരംഭാം നാഥയാമണ മധ്യമാം അസ്മതാചാര്യ പര്യന്താം വന്ദേ ഗുരുപരമ്പരാം യോനിത്യം അച്യുതപദാം ഭുജയുഗ്മരുഗ്മ വ്യാമോഹതസ്തിതരാണി തൃണായമേനെ അസ്മദ്ഗുരോർഭഗവതോസ്യധേകസിന്ധോ രാമാനുജസ് ചരണൌ ശരണം പ്രവത്യേ മാതാപിതാ യുവതയസ്ധനയാ വിഭൂതി സർവം യദേവ നിയമേന മതന്മയാണ് ആദ്യ നഹ്കുലപതേർ ബഹുലാഭിരാമം ശ്രീമത്തതങ്കരയുഗളം പ്രണമാമി മൂർധന ഭൂതം സരശ്ച മഹദാഹ്വയ ഭട്ടനാഥ ശ്രീഭക്തിചാരകുലശേഖര യോഗിവാഹാൻ വക്താംഗ്രിരേണു പരകാല യഥീന്ദ്രമിശ്രാൻ ശ്രീമദ് ഫരാങ്കുശമണിം പ്രണതോസ്മി നിത്യം ചുടിക്കൊടുത്ത ചുടറുകുടിയെ ദുൽഭാവയെ പാടി അരുള വല്ല പൽവളയായി നാടിനെ വെങ്കടവർക്ക് എന്നെ വിരിയന്നയും മാത്രം നാം കടവാ വണ്ണമേ നൽക് നമസ്കാരം സ്റ്റോൾ വി ആർ ഓൾ കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ജേർണി വിത്ത് അണ്ടാൾ ഇൻ ഹെർ ഭക്തി ജേർണി ഓൺ ഹൗ ഷീ ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു റീച്ച് കണ്ണൻ ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് ഹെർ കൈൻഡ് ഹാർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ബ്ലെസ്സിങ്സ് ഫ്രം ഹെർ we are all blessed today to join the journey of andal kodinachya shri andal in enjoying her prabandham tirupavai and so far we have seen the first step of towards how to reach to kannan by together with adiyars she is still getting all her friends together waking them up one by one and she has already woken up many of them now she is going into the next girl's house along with all these girls and she is going to wake up another girl in this pasharam of today which we are going to see it in the 13th pasharam of the day let us do the anusanthanam of the pasharam and see the meaning of this uh, pasharam pullinvai kindhane pulla arakkanai killi kalaindhane keerthimai paadi poi pillagal ellorum paavai kalambukkar വെള്ളി എഴുന്ത് വ്യാഴൻ ഉറങ്ങിട്ടു പുള്ളും ശിലംബിനകാൻ ബോധരൈ കണ്ണിനായ് കുള്ളക്കുളിര കുടൈന്തു നീരാടാതെ പള്ളിക്കിടത്തയോ ഭാവായിനി നന്നാളാൽ കള്ളം തവിർന്ന് കളർന്തേളോ ഭാവായ് സോ ഷീ ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു അനദർ ഗേൾസ് ഹൗസ് ഷീ ഈസ് നോക്കിംഗ് ദ ഡോർ ആൻഡ് ഷീ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടു ടെൽ അബൌട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു ലൈൻസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുള്ളി എക്സ്പ്ലൈൻഡ് first she she starts to tell about how kannan has killed one of the rakshasan the asura rakshasa who came in the form of a bird pullin vai kindhane pull means it's a bird and the bird has got a long beak which is in the form of a crane this but it is actually a rakshasa she is telling pulla rakkan so a rakshasa was in the form of a bird which is a crane kannan has got so many uh, hindrances from kamsha so initially we saw that bodhanai who came she gave a poisoned milk to kannan then in the form of a chakra chakadasuran came and he was trying to kill now this is another one who is called as a bagasuran his name is a bagasuran who came in the form of a crane form with the long beaks to kill kannan so what kannan did pullin vai kin pilandane pullin vai pilandane means he just opened the the long beak the mouth of that bird and he just broke that into two pieces by killing that pulla arakane killi kalaindane that means kannan just did uh, he killed that particular bird by just opening these two long beaks what this bird has got so this asuran or the rakshasa which is he is named as bakasuran who came to kill kannan so in this form the first two lines pullin vai kindani he was in a form of a crane uh, that is what pullin vai palandan enbador ilakkinil pogavennai in ehitriye is also she is also talking uh, singing this in the natyar thirumuli referring to the same bakasuran and how kannan killed bakasuran so she is referring in the first two lines of how uh, the greatness of the kannan whom we are going to see it's what that the, she is telling the girl inside so she is praising kannan here is what we are thinking but she is very intelligent in the last few pasharam the first the fifth pasharam when andal mayane mannu vadamadurai maindanai 
She was very clearly going to Mathura. She is talking about the Yamunai Turaivan, referring to Kannan. So the incarnation of Kannan, of Emperuman, she praised in the fifth Pashuram. Then in the previous Pashuram, the twelfth Pashuram, we saw that one, Sinatinal, Tennilangai, Komane, Chetra, Manatthu Kiniyane, Padavumni, Vahidravai. She came to Rama Avataram. Okay, she just mixes Kannan Avataram, Rama Avataram. We also saw that one, many people in Ayodhya, they like more of, uh, uh, they will talk praising about Rama. This is a nature. People in Sri Rangam will praise about uh, Emperor Man in Sri Rangam. People in Tirumalai will praise about Emperor Man in Tirumalai. At the end, they are all the same Emperor Man Sriman Narayanan, but their love towards that Emperor Man in that place is what that the bhakti of those adiyas, they praise about that. Here, Andal, she took in the fifth Pashuram Kannan. Then in the twelfth Pashuram, she came back to Rama. Then we talked about uh, those people who likes in Ayodhya and in those people who likes uh, Kannan in Brindhavanam or in Mathura. Then now she is beautifully explained in the 13th Pashuram. Both can be explained in same two lines. It's a great uh, Vyakyanam that uh, um, uh, Acharyas have given. In a very straight meaning, if you look at that one, Pullinvai, Palandhanai, Pulla, Arakkhanai means it is Bahasuran, what Kannan has killed. But there is also another meaning. They give it out. Pull in why pull here refers to the bird Jatayu in Ramayana. So if you know the story of the Ramayana, Jatayu is a bird which tried it fought with Ravana when Ravana was abducting Sita towards Lanka. Jatayu intercepted Ravana and then um, gave a big fight. And finally, Ravana killed that bird Jatayu. So here it is also referring in the other word. If you look at the meaning, pull in why Palandani. Pulla Arakkanai, what it refers to, Pulla Arakkan, which refers to Ravanan. The Ravanan, which who killed the Jatayus by breaking the mouth of that Jatayus bird, and that is a person, Killikkalaindani. That Ravana was killed by Rama. So she is referring to Pulla Arakkan here also as Ravanan. So that means she is very intelligently referring to both Kannan and Raman in a single line. Pulla Arakan means Ravanan was the Pulla Arakan. Pulla means uh, he is a head weight guy. He doesn't listen to anybody else because he did not listen to his own brother. Uh, Vibhishanan advised him it's not the right thing to do. And what he did, he did not listen to even Sita Piratiyar's. Sita Piratiyar herself gave a lot of uh, advice to him. He, he is doing wrong thing. He did not uh, do. He, he abducted uh, Sita from Rama. And he did not listen to anyone else. And uh, so that is the, the head the head weight thing, what she is referring here as Pulla Arakan. That means it's very well fitting to the definition of Ravana as Arakan here, who killed Jatayu. And that Ravana was Killikalindan. That means for Rama, it is actually he is like a small dust. So he just killed him. He could have done it with the tapas uh, or uh, the sangalpa um, power from Sri Vaikuntam itself, Emperor Man. But there is a reason why he was born as uh, uh, that particular avataram. So here, Andal taking the word very, very carefully, Killikalindan. That means for uh, Kannan or for Rama, these Ashuras are something like, just like a dust. So they, they just remove that dust from their path. And that is what the greatness, where she is also bringing the glory and the power of Emperor Man, be it in the avataram of Kannan or be it in the avataram of Rama. And these two lines are very beautifully explained by our Acharyas. So she is mixing. So both Rama avataram and Kannan avataram is being uh, told in two lines with the similar instances with Pullin Vaikindane, Pulla Rakkanikilli Kalindane. Both refers to Emperor Man. Sriman Narayanan is what that we should take it up as a uh, condensed meaning, even though she is praising both with Kannana and Ramavataram into this one. So now she is she is talking about that person's Kirti Maipari, but that great Emperor Shriman Narayanan, and we need to praise his glory. We need to chant his Dranamam. He has got uh, the greatest thing of the, he's a supreme Devatai. So we need to uh, praise his um, uh, Dranamam and that is the reason we have come here to wake you up. You also see, Pillehal Ellorum Pavai Kalambuka. 
all these girls have joined and they are all going to go to the pavai kalambukka if you remember the pavai that is the the margari vratham where we started with the doll which is the kathyayini devi so she is referring here all these girls are already ready they are just with me we are all going to go in into and start this vratham pillegal ellorum pavai kalambukka pavai means they, they, the place where we are going to go and do that vratham the kathyayini vratham in the banks of the river yamuna that happened in the ayer party but she is just dreaming that one in sri vellipattur here velli elundi vyalan murangitru this is one of the other indication of the early morning that she says in tamil in the stars they are talking about there is a chukran which is a rising of the chukran and guru which is going down sleeping is also an indication of early morning and she is um, referring that in a that's early morning has come because here she has given so many of the indication of the early morning in the previous pashurams which we saw that here velli elundu vyalan murangitru vyalan murangitru so that means the already that the day has come so sunrise is going to come this is an early morning pullum silambanagan even then that girl was not believing inside oh is that so she was asking no, no, you can also hear the the bird sound still she started with that sixth pashuram where the the birds sound that started now she is in the 13th pashuram she is still still the birds are making the sound that means this is still early morning so th- this is what uh, uh, she is uh, referring bodarik kannina she is giving a great expression of uh, this girl bodarik kannina so we, she gave so much of the maman mahale pilla elindrai so many of those praising of each of those girls the bodarik kannina is something like she is praising the beautiful eyes what she has got referring this eye to the the low, the uh, feathers of uh, uh, flower basically you can see the and then on a, on a flower if a black uh, beetle or bee go and sits on to the top that's her the the middle of her high so she is telling that one podu means it's a flower ari is that black bee and it refers to that when you are having so much of a beautiful black eye which is looking like uh, um, a bee a black bee sitting on to a white flower so that's what she is describing but the inner meaning of this one acharya see the the eye refers to the the, the wisdom the knowledge the gnanam that what she has got and what she is thinking the girl inside it's a great way because this is what we we call it out as the the um, the lot of belief towards emperor she thinks that one with her beautiful eyes that means beautiful gnanam and the bhakti what she has got she is thinking that kannan himself will come to uh, her that's the way in which she is having the great bhakti and the connection so this is how they refer both the kannan i is in the outer side we are just describing the beauty of the eye but the way in which she has got the bhakti and the gnanam the girl inside she is thinking that one she can attract with that particular bhakti kannan directly to her house that's how she is dreaming and she is very much involved into that bhakti and that is the reason she is not waking up uh, even when andal is telling so much of this bodhari kanninai kulla kulira kudaindu neeradade we have to go now it's already time so it, now we have to go to uh, the river take bath into the pond and then we have to go to that pratham place and then start the pratham padlikkadathiyo still you are sleeping so please get up don't sleep the way in which she is telling you are still enjoying the prabhavam of kannan through your beautiful eyes the beautiful gnanam and the bhakti that what you have got still you are enjoying it alone but please come with us we should go and take bath and we should start that pratham together so that kannan will be very happy that when we do all of us together that's what bhavaini nannalal so this is a good day so the, in this particular beautiful day of this margari month let please start please get up kallam tavind please do not keep anything don't think differently kallam means uh, internally thinking something because she is thinking that kannan would come directly for her um, uh, the bhakti that what she is showing for the rikkannai so don't think uh, such type of we have to go together and do this one so please avoid such type of a thinking kalarndelo rumba why please come and join 
with us and then join and then let us go together and enjoy this journey of uh, uh, going and chanting the Thirunamam of Emperor Sriman Narayanan and then the Kannan would come and give us the blessings is what that she is telling the way in which Acharyas used to say about the greatness of this Pashuram first of all Andal took it so intelligently to reflect both the Rama and the Krishna Avataram in one Pashuram in two lines, where she took a beautiful example of that Pullin Vaikindane Pulla Rakhane. So it refers to both Ramayana, the incident in the Ramayanam, and also the incident that happened in the higher body when Bhagasuran was killed by Kannan. This is a great way of uh, uh, telling the explanation on the first two lines. And then she gives the Vodari Kanninai is the internal, the jnanam and the bhakti, the level of bhakti that one has, one is getting it out, is being explained and how you need to reach to that with the great level of bhakti and dedication towards Emperor Man. That, that is the dedication that she has got and she had got a belief, a very strong belief that Emperor Man would bless her. And that is the greatest thing. We should always keep it. It doesn't matter whether it is nothing, the good things happening or bad thing happenings for us in a day-to-day -day life. All those things, ups and downs are part of the life. But keeping that belief continuously and not losing that faith is what that she is restressing in every Pashara. That is what we call it out as a keeping the faith completely. And that faith has to be 100% the hundred percent mind and we we cannot be because when we when we are enjoying when the happiness happens then we think that the god is giving a great things to us when we have a sorrow or anything that not happy situation then we think that there is a big punishment to us no but this or ups and downs are part of the life so one then only we realize the joy later and this is the the faith has to be always be there whether it is a happiness or whether it is a sorrow it doesn't matter that faith should not be left and this girl has got that faith because she was think she was very confident Kandan would come into that one but even though Andal convinced her that please come and join us and then let us do the chanting together is what that the great meaning that uh, it comes out of this Pashuram so with this one the the next girl started to uh, wake up and uh, joined um, uh, Andal in this Pashuram. So we, we, we have two more girls because with this one, eight girls joined uh, uh, Andal, but these are the representation of those five lakhs uh, uh, ladies uh, who are there in um, uh, Ayer party. After that, the second level of how, if you remember that one, Vedam Ballar Halai Kundu Binnor Tirupadam Panidis. Now she is referring to the Vedam Ballar Hal, which are the Acharyas or the Adiyas who are there in this world. So keeping their lotus feet as their our way, the next step we will go in into this Binnor and she will pick up how she goes into the Binnor because there is a procedure by which we reach to Kannan. She is showing us a great way how she is taking us into this journey of reaching to Kannan. And that is what uh, we are going to enjoy in the next Pashurams. Two more girls, she is going to wake up. And after that, we will see how she goes into the Vinor and she is going to also give some more Pashurams before she go and directly wake up Kannan. This is the way that uh, the Rupavi structure goes. We will see how she wakes up the next girl, the next Pashuram. Shrimati Ramana Jhaya Namaha Alvaru Hal Dhruvadi Gale Sharanam Brahmanar Dhruvadi Gale Sharanam Jir Dhruvadi Gale Sharanam Acharyan Swami Dhruvadi Gale Sharanam